Malachi, I think you are missing the overall concept of what we're doing. We have two pieces. Now these pieces measure seven inches wide. We want to use the criteria to figure out how to make a splice joint, a single lap sheet joint. So you see I'm just going to slide these over top of each other. I leave a little bit of gap here so you can see it's two sheets. But then I'm going to put a rivet row or as many rivet rows as needed in order to splice these two sheets together. The problem I gave you was 25,000 sheet uh, 0 0.025 thousandths of an inch sheet of Alclad 2024 T3 material single lap sheet joint in intermediate structure. And so using the table in AC43, table 10, 4-10, uh, I think it is, you, uh, you came up with it looked like on the drawing that you gave uh, 30 rivets, which is correct. You come up with 29 rivets, but 30 makes sense. And so now, and those are 332nd rivets. So 332nd, 2D edge distance, so as a minimum, so that would be uh, 332nd times 2. Uh, which would be 6 30 seconds of an inch minimum edge distance. So I'm just going to take the ruler here and I'm going to lay out 6 30 seconds from one of the edge. So here's 30 seconds scale. So 6 30 seconds. I'm just going to go 8 30 seconds. It's a little, little uh, more. So here would be my first rivet row. And I would have to be 8 30 seconds from the end, or 6 30 seconds, but I'm going to go 8 30 seconds from that end. And I'm going to go 8 30 seconds from this end. So I'm 8 30 seconds from each end, so I measured. 8 30 seconds from this end and I measured 8 30 seconds from this end so those are my end rivets and my edge distance I used 8 30 seconds 6 30 seconds is minimum but I used a little bit more so now I'm going to measure the distance between my two end rivets and what I measure on this particular sheet is I have 6.7 inches I'm now measuring in tenths because it's easier 6.7 inches minimum rivet spacing is 3d or I'm using 332nd rivets so times 3 would be 930 seconds and if I just use my calculator here I can figure out that 9 divided by 32, that is 0.281 inches. So how many rivets can I get between here, this end rivet, and this end rivet if my spacing is 0.281? So I'm going to divide this 6.7 inches, divide 6.7 by my minimum rivet spacing, which was 0.281, and I can get 23.8 rivets in there, 23.8 spaces. Uh, if I were to do this in one row, I'd need to be able to get uh, 29 rivets in. I can't fit 29 rivets in, so it makes sense to go with two rows of rivets. So I'm going to put my second row I'm just going to go another 8 30 seconds from my first row. So 
So there's my 30 second scale, 8 30 seconds. So there's my second row of rivets. And I'm just going to use two rows, actually, of uh, three 30-second rivets. I'm going to put 15 rivets per row, and that will give me, you can see my two rivet lines here, 15 rivets per row. That'll give me 30 rivets. That's more than 29 by one, but it makes it work out nicely. Okay, so each row will have... Uh, 15 rivets or that's 15 that's 14 spaces so each row between my end rivets was 6.7 inches by measurement so 6.7 6.7 inches divided by 14 spaces for 15 rivets means that my rivet spacing needs to be 4.7 seven nine or about four point eight per space so I'm going to go four point eight four point eight four point eight and I'm just measuring off of each one four point eight four point eight you can see what I'm doing. I'm just measuring up 4.8 each one. 4.8 is about right there. 4.8. Or 0.48, I'm sorry. I'm 0.48 inches. 0.48 inches. 0.48 inches, 0.48 inches. So now I've got a mark. If you can see those marks, I've got a mark every 4.8 inches. And then, so I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That puts me 15 rivets. And if I just put rivets opposite. Uh, or in line with all of the other rivets. That gives me 30 rivets. In two rows. Let me try to hold it up there to see, make sure you can see those. So I've got 30 rivets in two rows. 15 rivets per row. And now... In order to splice these sheets, what I would do is I would overlap these sheets, drill holes, and then drive rivets, and that would be my, my splice. Splicing two sheets together using two rows of rivets of 15 rivets per row would meet the design criteria of what we're after. So hopefully that concept helps you.